Elizabeth, Countess of Low Carb, so pumped you are here for our OMOD, our one meal a day live stream on YouTube, live stream on Instagram. I am so pumped today to answer all of your OMOD questions and my seven secrets for weight loss, my OMOD weight loss secrets for you today. I know we've had so many questions. Feel free to put in the comments your questions. I want to answer them all. We're going to be going live here on YouTube for about 45 minutes, if not longer. And I've got a bunch of goodies for you today. First, this video is sponsored by Sola. I'm super excited to be working with Sola Low Carb Breads and Sola Low Carb Keto Granola. I will put a link down in the description for a 10% off code for you. If you are interested in getting this keto granola, or their keto buns. They have the best hamburger buns. It's what I use. It's low carb um, hamburger buns, low carb breads. We use this exclusively in our household. I love Sola. So Sola, thank you for sponsoring this video. I'm super pumped to dive into Omad meals and um, talk to you about my weight loss. I don't know if you've noticed. Thank you so much. I have lost a bunch of weight <laughs> through this I'm being home. I've lost a bunch of weight and I want to share with you a little bit about my experience with Omad and hopefully how it can help you if I pull back the secrets of all of my one meal a day um, secrets that I have for you. So let's dive in. A special thank you again to Sola for sponsoring today's video. Get their products down in the description link below. I do have a 10% off code um, that if you want to get these, get them delivered. They get shipped right to your house and the breads come frozen. So you just pop them in the freezer. We use these for keto grilled cheeses, keto hamburgers, and they have a great low carb sweetener too. I use their um, chocolate raspberry granola for parfaits, low carb parfaits, and their maple pecan chocolate for parfaits too. So let's dive in guys to our Omad videos. I've got notes over here. I've got your questions. Again, put your questions in the comments because we're going to go through a whole bunch of them um, that you guys asked with my Omad one meal a day secrets of how you can lose weight through doing Omad. Um, and a hi to Instagram folks for watching here too. Make sure you share this link. Let's dive in. Secret number one. If you are new starting Omad one meal a day diet, um, my encouragement to you is maybe to do a quad, <laughs> two meals a day. No, I said that wrong. Two meals a day, basically. Instead of doing one, if you've never done one meal a day, maybe start off for the first four, five, six weeks doing just two meals a day. For example, if I had my Sola Parfait with maybe some low carb berries like blackberries in them um, and a little bit of my homemade Greek yogurt that is super, super low carb with it, um, that would be one meal, maybe have that for lunch, a keto lunch. And then for keto dinner, then having like a big steak, um, so low carb vegetables, a high fat, something along those lines, but maybe start off with two meals a day and then work your way down. No one said that you have to immediately dive straight into like pounding out Omad, right? I didn't. My hot husband did. He, and you know your personality style best to know what, what will work best for you. My hot husband dove into Omad head first. He's like Thor with ripped muscles and jacked arms. And for me, I really, and I'm going to talk a little bit about that um, further about different ways to do it. But the first secret for you is pay, if you can't do Omad, if you try it and you're like, oh, this is hard, start off with two meals a day. That's still going to be better for your insulin. Losing weight is about insulin spikes. Part of it, Dr. Jason Fung has done significant research on this, the daddy of intermittent fasting, talking about insulin spikes. When we chronically are eating meals or snacks, it's spiking our insulin, which is not helping us with weight loss, right? So the first thing is to help level out our weight loss by having periods of eating and periods of not eating. So first cutting out snacks would be my first recommendation and going for two meals a Day. Cut out snacks and breakfast and try lunch and dinner and try that for four to six weeks. My second Omad secret for you is someone had asked in the comments, and again, please make sure that you are putting your questions in the comments. Someone was like, You didn't answer my question. I'm sorry. I have a four year old who's literally like ready to barricade in here. I'm doing the best I can. So give me some grace or shoot me an email at countess of low carb at gmail.com saying YouTube live questions. I'm happy. I want to make sure I'm answering everybody's questions. Hi, Linda on YouTube. Hi, Diane on, on YouTube too. So calorie deficit. Y'all know I have talked a nauseam about calories, that calories don't matter per Jason Fung. However, for weight loss, 
a calorie deficit does matter. If you are eating more <laughs> than um, if you're eating more than your body can burn, you're not going to lose weight. Basically, that's what it is. If I'm eating so much food in that one meal a day or my two meals a day, if I'm not having a calorie deficit, I'm not going to lose weight. And that's from personal experience, right? So calories don't matter. This whole metrics in 1990s, uh, a rating of calories in, calories out, it's all BS. Literally go watch Dr. Jason Fung's video on it. However, portion size, and perhaps the, that's a better vernacular of saying portion sizes do matter, right? We have to have a deficit of portions, calories, to lose weight in my experience. So having a deficit in what the food intake that you're having versus what you're burning, uh, that, that, that's, that's one of my big secrets. I found I was eating way too big of portions um, and I wasn't losing weight. And I'm like, why am I not losing weight? Everyone's losing weight on our mod, but me, wah, wah, wah. And poor me, poor me. And it, it, no, it was because I wasn't having a calorie deficit. There was nothing wrong with me. It was literally my portion sizes were too big that um, it was, it was my portion sizes were too big. I'm getting some questions. So I'm going to move this over here. Do you recommend, and I'm going to interweave the questions also with my seven secrets for you guys too. Um, awesome. Diane just asked, do you recommend alternate day fasting? Hex. Yeah. If you just started doing fasting, whoop, we just lost Instagram there. We just lost Instagram. And I think I just lost my uh, YouTube there too. Oh, this is so much fun. <laughs> Let's see here. We're having tech issues, guys, but that's okay. This is where Royal Weight Loss meets real life. This is exciting. I think I just totally lost YouTube. Come back, YouTube. Come back. Come back. Come back. I just did something to make it go. Well, hopefully you guys can see me on YouTube. I'm going to put this right here. And I decided today I wasn't going to use my stand. Um, and now I'm regretting it on Instagram. So if you guys want to see me royally flub up, here we go. Uh, what did I do? I don't even know what the heck happened here. Let's close this bad guy out. There we go. Okay, Diane, I really wanted to answer your question and totally like threw my camera down. Let's move this back over here. Okay, so my the question was, do you recommend alternate day of fasting? Um, oh my goodness gracious. Y'all bear with me. Okay. Do I recommend alternate day of fasting? Um, yeah. If you're just starting off, do alternate day of fasting. Um, I know, who is it on Instagram? One of my good buddies. And I'm totally spacing. I know the Instagram account, but I don't know her real name. Does alternate day of fasting have amazing success with it? So freaking do what you feel like is best. If alternate day of fasting makes sense for you, then do it. Um, and that could be alternate day of fasting of one day doing OMAD, one meal a day, and the next day freaking eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I would strongly encourage you, if your goal is weight loss, cut out the snacks. Stop snacking, have meals instead. Stop snacking and have meals instead. So that would be my encouragement. If you're doing alternate day of fasting, rock on with your bad self. For me, this has taken, that was one of the questions I had gotten was how long has it taken you to lose weight? Three years to lose 75 pounds. I've lost more than that now. I'm not going to say because I'm going to do a weight loss reveal. My goal was to lose 100 pounds and you'll have to wait and see and come back to YouTube to see if I've hit my goal or not. But many of you OGs who watch me for a while, you can tell my face. It's literally my cheekbones are where, where my weight loss starts from. Um, and I, I will definitely be sharing that more. So as of right now, lost 75 pounds, but it's more than that. Um, how long did it take you? Three years. But in that, I had a pregnancy and the passing of my daughter. So I don't like, I hate the answering that question because then I'm like, Bleh. I like throw up on people of like, Yes, but I was pregnant in part of that and then had to lose the pregnancy weight and then my daughter passed and there was grieving with that. And so it's really not a true measurement stick. And that's where I want to encourage you. You do you. I'll do me. Don't worry about how long it's going to take. Like literally when I get into that mindset, that's not the mindset. I need to be in healing my body mindset. When I'm in healing my body mindset, that's when things work well. Linda said alternate day is best um, because it controls my calories better. I can see from YouTube. Okay, great. I'm so glad you guys can see that. Um, Keto Rewind does alternate day fasting. I feel like do what's best for you. You have to find a cadence and rhythm of um of what's best for you um, to, that makes sense. Okay, so number one secrets we talked about was start off with two meals a day. If you're not doing OMAD, do two meals a day. Number two, be in a calorie deficit, meaning you have to eat less calories. And I hate calories because calories in, calories out, 1990s, don't think about that. It's portion sizes need to be smaller than what your body is burning. 
three um, is going to be a, someone had asked about being super tired after having Omad. After eating their one meal a day, they were exhausted. And my encouragement would be, and again, I'm not a doctor. I don't pretend to play one on, on the internet. But my experience, strength, and hope for people is if you're super tired after having that meal, you probably have too many carbs in that meal, sugars, or creepy carbs. Meaning my experience has been, I was eating something that had a ton of creepy carbs in them. I didn't even know it. Unknowingly, I was eating a ton of like hidden sugars, hidden carbs. That's why reading labels are so freaking important. And I found myself consuming this product and I kept being exhausted after eating them. So my encouragement for you is if you're tired after eating the big meal, your insulin is spiking for some reason. If you're eating a ketogenic diet meal, which is high fat, moderate protein, low carb, um, you're probably not going to have that insulin spike because you're going to get full off the high fat and the moderate protein. So not having that insulin spike, the tiredness is probably, and again, I'm not a doctor, but my experience has been when I'm, when I'm tired, my insulin has spiked and that's either consuming knowingly or not unknowingly hidden sugars or regular sugars or carbs or creepy carbs. By doing that, that eliminating those things, I'm not tired after having my one meal. If you find that you're very tired after it, that there's something going on with your insulin after eating that. So my encouragement would be look at your labels, go read the labels and see if they have creepy carbs, malodextrin, malodextrose. Um, canola oil, soybean, soybean oil, any sort of vegetable oils, vegetable oils. Dr. Candy Berry talks heavily about vegetable oils, how bad they are for us. My dad the other day was saying how he was cooking with canola oil. And I'm like, ah, don't do that. It's an inflammatory property that can cause heart disease, that can cause cancers, that can cause a lot of dementia. Um, inflammatory properties can cause those things. So, um, Let's see here. I'm a super slow loser. My mindset is on how I'm feeling. And yes, and I agree with Diane of how how we're feeling. Literally, um, that to me is the weight loss gauge. Literally, how do I feel? And when I do personal coaching clients, I will go through and they'll say, I lost this amount of weight. And my question is like, that's great. But how do you feel? Do you feel energized? Do you have mental clarity? And um, do you feel good? Right? Has do you feel good? For me, those are the three barometers with it. I think it's important to reduce stress for weight gain. I totally agree. Um, Tristan, completely agree. And my heart's going out to you too. Uh, with the loss of a child, you totally understand. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, listening, reducing stress. We're going to talk about that too. We're going to talk about that too. But our three, our seven OMAD secrets that we're going through, one, start off with two meals a day. Two, have a calorie deficit, meaning make your portion sizes smaller than what you need to burn. Three, if you're super tired doing OMAD, one meal a day, and your OMAD weight loss is your goal, uh, check your ingredients as to what you're eating. They probably have carbs or sugars in them. My hot husband does not eat keto. I feed him a low carb diet when I'm cooking. He will consume, I will add some extra things to make it low carb for him. He does not get tired after having that. Um, but so everybody's body is different. So I want to encourage you, know thyself well. Um, number four for our OMAD secrets is stress. Going back to someone else's one over there. If you are finding you're not losing weight by doing OMAD, I would say, how's your stress level? We are in a stressful season right now. And so giving ourselves grace and love and the next loving choices, I always punt the next loving choices is paramount. If you are stressed, which hello, I have been like, literally, this is why like, I'm in a fleece, I'm in a sports bra. I mean, even put real pants on. I still have my pajama pants on waiting for my four-year-old to come running through here. Like it, this is just a different time, right? And being okay with that, that this may be a stressful season and figuring out how to mitigate stress, i.e. I do Epsom salt baths every night. When I don't do Epsom salt baths at night, my husband will question me and be like, are you eating at night? Are you late night snacking to soothe the stress? That is my stress relief. Walking is my stress relief. Petting my dogs is my stress relief. Praying, meditating, getting quiet, tuning out the noise, listening to ocean sounds on our Google Home. I'll say, hey, Google, play ocean sounds. That for me, doing that for 15 minutes helps lower the stress. If we are stressed, more than likely, my experience has been I do not lose weight during stressful seasons. When I am conscious of fasting and I'm really on the beam with fasting, 
I feel awesome. And literally I've told my coaching clients this, I literally make double the income. I can see it like on my, on my monthly sales reports, I can see where I was fasting a whole bunch and doing OMOD or doing 36 hour fast or doing intermittent fasting. And when I'm not literally, I make more money from it because I'm more productive with it. I feel more energized to do it. Um, veggie carbs aren't causing the fatigue. So eliminate veggie carbs too. So veggie carbs, my encouragement to be for carbs, what I do is, and I, this was one of my next ones. So I'm just going to kind of meet, bump it around. My carbs are ideally from vegetables. Ideally. Do I have things like awesome Sola granola in there or um, my Sola hamburger buns or my keto bread from Sola? Again, I have a 10% discount for you guys on that. Yeah. Do I have that every day? No, because that for me, if I eat these every day, it will stop my weight loss. I love Sola, but if I have it every day for my body type, it will stop my weight loss. So what I do is this is a treat. These are the, the keto breads, literally a traditional meal for me would be, and someone had said in that secret number five was show examples of what Omad is. What are the Omad's meals that I'm having is um, a meat, so some sort of protein, a fat and a low carb veggie. That for me is the best when I'm in a cadence and rhythm of where I'm really dropping weight of where my body feels optimal, a meat, a low carb veggie and a fat, i.e. So someone asked what's examples of that, a beautiful ribeye steak, grass fed butter on top of steamed broccoli or a beautiful New York strip steak, um, maybe some steamed cauliflower with some beautiful olive oil on top. So you get it protein, low carb veggie, a fat and a fish butter, look our veggie. We have been loving steamed vegetables just because we're not getting a lot of fresh produce. I had done an Instacart order and the produce came and I opened it up. I was excited for Brussels sprouts and they were moldy. Then I opened up, I had some um, peppers, moldy. So like we're punting more towards just for where we live in rural Virginia, more towards steamed vegetables in the freezer. Um, so do what you have available to you, but that what those examples, like the ideal for me meal, a protein, high fat, low carb vegetable for it. When I'm getting fatigued, I would check your veggie carbs. I know so many people are moving towards carnivore. I'm not there yet. Again, my own self, be true, do what's best for you. Some people can do OMAD with just doing carnivore, meaning having like eggs, bacon, meats, um, anything that comes from an animal. Mm -hmm. I prefer to have in here um, low carb veggies. I just like the way I feel having low carb veggies. I like crunching on spinach. I like crunching on romaine lettuce and two cups of romaine lettuce or spinach is like one net carb. Hello. That's a lot of crunching. That's a lot of portion, which I personally like for my um, style. Hi, Martha. Hi, 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 Alex. Okay. So we had talked about our mod secrets. One, Start off with two meals a day if you are starting the journey or do one meal a day Two, have less, have a calorie deficit, meaning eat less portion sizes for your body to lose weight. Three, if you're super tired doing OMAD after you eat that meal, check your ingredients. You're probably having creepy carbs or sugars coming into your food and it's spiking your insulin and that's why you're tired. More than likely. Four, mitigate your stress. Figure out how to lower your stress. For me, one of them is having Epsom salt baths. That also gets me my magnesium. I absorb it in my skin um, and it's a stress reliever, petting my dog, getting extra sleep, um, hanging out with positive people, staying away from negative people, things like that. Um, five, I gave examples of what I eat, which is the ideal meal of having protein, fat, low carb veggie. And then um, number six is someone asked about eating macros. Do I eat all of my macros um, for my one meal a day? No, <laughs> I could try, but I typically don't. And so some people get whacked out. I have a free macros calculator on countessoflowcarb.com on my website, get my free keto meal plan, which came out this morning. If you got your email, I sent it out this morning, um, along with a perfect keto 25% off code, email me. And I'll also put it in the description link for this video, but, um, and the Sola bread discount code and Sola granola discount. But making sure um, for my macros, using that, the free calculator to figure out your fat grams, your protein grams, and 20 net carbs. There's no way I can eat that. I mean, some people maybe can. Um, hey, Victoria, I cannot consume that much food in, at one meal. Literally, my stomach will hurt. I will literally later on be like going to the bathroom a bunch. I cannot consume that much high fat in one meal. <laughs> I mean, keto is high fat, moderate protein, low carb. Can you do one meal a day not doing keto? Yes. My husband does 
it's more of low carb um, ish. And so he does OMAD not doing keto for me on the weight loss journey, doing keto with OMAD has been wonderful. So um, yay, Diane got the email. Woohoo. So I don't eat all the macros. That was someone's question. Do you eat all the macros? No. But then for people's personality styles who get super persnickety, and this is really going to bother them not having a matrix to gauge on, it's high fat, moderate protein, low carb. So you could feasibly take your macros percentages and then figure out your um, what the portion size is off that percentage. Do I do that? No, that's not my personality style. I'm like, okay, I can tell it's high fat, moderate protein, low carb meal. I don't necessarily measure that all out for my one meal a day. As long as I'm in a calorie deficit, meaning like my portion size is less than that, I'm golden. And for me, I don't eat that. I cannot, I personally cannot eat that much food in that sitting. Have I had a ton of food where after like a three day fast, I've eaten a bunch? Heck yeah. Um, but that's after like a three day fast, right? That's not one meal a day, which is 24 hours, have a meal, 24 hours, have a meal. Someone also answered the question. They were freaking out for a mod one meal a day of it was 22 hours, not 24 four hours. Great. That's my answer to you. Great. I make my fasting, my intermittent fasting and fasting in general around my life. I don't make my life around fasting. So if I know I have social engagements, not that I have any sort of social engagements. I mean, hello, look at my hair. I have no social engagements uh, besides talking with my friends here on YouTube and Instagram. Um, I, I make my life work around fasting. So um, that's my encouragement is if, if it's 22 hours, not 24 hours. So <laughs> if you really want to get persnickety about that, but why would I stress myself out over that? Like 22 hours is still freaking amazing. By the way, if you're doing fasting, you're in the top 2% of the United States, literally, maybe even 1%. Dr. Kendi Berry told me that once. He's like, Homegirl, you are literally in the top percent. So if you're doing sort of any sort of fasting, you're in one of the top percentiles. So don't let that trip you up. Um, don't let that trip you up if you're not hitting 24 hours, eating a meal 24 hours. Ideally is the best, yes, but uh, if I've hit 20 hours or 22 hours, I'm going to do that um, one meal per day. So don't let that get you caught up. Number six, Omad Weight Loss Secrets or Omad Weight Loss Secrets is... It's going to take three weeks for you to notice the weight loss. And I'm speaking for, I'll use I statements. I, it takes me three weeks to notice my weight loss. It takes six weeks for my family, meaning my hot husband, my mom, my dad, my sister to notice my weight loss. It takes nine weeks for acquaintances, people I don't know super well to notice the weight loss. So some of y'all on YouTube who are not OGs are like, oh wow, she, she lost weight. And it's like nine weeks, nine weeks. So nine weeks times seven is 63 days. Pencils down on Rosen Island, 63 days, 63 days of hitting the weight loss journey to see results from someone else. So if you are getting a bug in your bottom over two and a half weeks and no one said anything or you haven't noticed, great. It's going to probably take you three weeks to see the weight loss your family six weeks to see the weight loss in you and others nine weeks to see the weight loss in you. And that's okay. That's okay. That's why this is a journey. And how do we make this lifestyle sustainable and not a quick fix? Quick fix people. I see it. I see it because I've done YouTube for almost three years. Come in, do keto for like two or three weeks. They're hot in the comments. They're commenting and then they're out and then I don't see their names anymore. And I'm like, oh, where'd they go? Um, people who are in a general cadence and rhythm of figuring out how to make this a lifestyle, they may be slower, but they're making this a lifestyle to make it more sustainable, do better. In my experience of coaching people and watching people via YouTube. So my encouragement to you is Figure out how to make this a lifestyle change and make it sustainable for you. But know that it's going to take three weeks for you to notice that weight loss change, six weeks for your family, hot husbands, partners, children, the family to notice the weight loss change, and nine weeks for acquaintances, coworkers, or people that you don't know super well. Number seven, Omad secrets or Omad weight loss secrets, reveal today, was, um, shoot, I just gave them all. I counted wrong, though. <laughs> It was supposed to be eat macros three, four, three weeks, six weeks, nine weeks, and then give examples. So what questions do we have? What questions do we have? Do you have coffee or anything like that while doing OMAD? That's a great question, Martha. So there's so much data about coffee, no coffee during fasting, during OMAD, that coffee can stop you from having autophagy, meaning that 
2016 Nobel Prize winner went off the concept of autophagy. It's spelled like autophagy, but it's pronounced autophagy, where that can help us. Um, it can help with cancer. It can help with Alzheimer's. It can help with heart disease. It can help with a lot of body things getting into the getting up into autophagy. There's so much we don't know about it. Um, we know less about it than what we know about it. But what we know about it is when we get into that state, um, it's total healing for our body. Dr. Mindy, uh, I started watching Dr. Mindy on YouTube. I like her a lot. Um, one of my coaching clients had recommended I start watching her and I very much enjoyed it. Had a whole segment that I watched recently about breaking fast and things like that. But going back to the coffee standpoint with Omad, I do. I do. I ideally like to have it black, um, but sometimes I put creamer in it. There, that's my secret. I have, and but I will have a teaspoon of it. I won't be like, um, but I have the season of life I'm in. I have a four year old. We own multiple businesses. We have a lot of employees that we're figuring out what to do for one of our companies. Like, there's a lot going on, probably like you guys too. So I am having coffee and I'm loving it and I feel good about that. I'm making the conscious choice that that may be inhibiting my autophagy state. Um, and I'm okay with that just because that's where I am right now. Heck, I can barely even brush my hair. You know what I mean? Like I need my coffee. Would I encourage people to get off coffee? Probably. But out of all the things I don't drink, I don't do a lot. Like I just don't do a lot of things. Um, and so coffee is kind of one of my things that I don't really want to give up. And the Part two of that is coffee. There's lots of scientific studies. Some people are like, it's so bad for you. There's lots of counter scientific studies saying it's so good for you as long as we're not having huge, huge quantities of that caffeine, which I try to have generally like one cup, like this size. And that's kind of like my thing. So there we go. Um, other questions, having a lot of problems with sleeping. Yeah, I had that too. And um, the reason why for me is through the weight loss journey, literally my hormones recalibrated and then like kind of keep recalibrating. And so when I find I'm having sleeping problems, magnesium with Epsom salt, super helpful to have magnesium at night because it'll help fall asleep. Having magnesium drops in like a uh, non-caffeinated tea, magnesium helps. I do take melatonin also to help me sleep, but also making sure if I am finding myself awake, um, I need to be walking more for me. That's one of my things. I don't sleep well when I'm not walking. Walking for me is not for weight loss. It's for literally like, that's my prayer time. That's my meditation time, but it's also to help me sleep on days that I don't get a 30 minute walk in. I don't sleep as well. So that would be my encouragement is figure out how to move your body more to help help with that. So, um, I love coffee. I can't stand it black. Yes. Linda high five on that. Yeah. <laughs> Yay, Victoria. Yeah, have that coffee. Have that coffee. Okay, so let's see here. I, I want to answer any more questions. I know, oops, here they were. And feel free to put them in again. If I, for some reason, missed your questions, please give me grace. Um, I'm trying the best that I can to make sure that I ans uh, answer them. Someone says, how do you cure boredom eating? So that's one of my big things with my eating disorder I've worked really, really hard on is I don't eat my feelings. At least I try not to. And feelings to me is boredom. So if I'm mad, I'm not going to eat off of it. If I'm excited or celebration, I don't want to eat off of it. I want to eat ideally for nourishment, but like, hello, there's, I'm a human. Like I'm going to celebrate my birthday. I'm going to celebrate my wedding anniversary. Like there's things that I am going to celebrate with food, but that's the exception to the rule and not the rule. So for boredom, I would encourage you, what are you not feeling? You're bored and you eat, can't you? you find something else to fill that in? You know what I mean? And I'm saying that for the next loving choice, the next loving choice of what's the next loving choice besides eating. There's tons of them, right? Can you go help um, foster care kids, right? We do a lot with foster care kids and um, the orphans and stuff like that. That's super passionate and animal rescues for our family. We're heavily actively involved in that. My encouragement for you is if you're bored, go find a charity to volunteer with. You get out of yourself and it will make, for me, it makes me eat less because I'm thinking about other people. Um, uh, that's a great question. Okay. Um, how long did it take you? We talked about that. Um, keto snacks. So I love, I love snacks, but I said it earlier for me, when I have a lot of keto snacks, it, it, my weight loss is not as good. It's just not when I have a meal to a meal, then I'm not spiking my insulin and I'm having a better weight loss journey with that. So, um, that would be my encouragement to you. Someone said, Victoria said, um, I like black 
coffee. Yay, I do like black coffee too. Sometimes I will have black coffee as well, but I do like just, there's something psychological about having that. And sometimes I'll put butter in too with my frother and make it like a latte, a keto latte with it. I do love the perfect keto packets of their mocha. I will put a discount code, um, a 15% off discount code in the video too, along with that. And if you're just joining us, our Sola is sponsoring this video, the Sola granola and Sola keto breads and keto um, hamburger buns and hot dog buns. Uh, they're awesome. And I have a 15, a 10 or 15% off code I will make sure is in the description link for this video. Let's get back to questions. So we talked about Dr. Mindy. So Dr. Mindy had talked about fasting. If you're finding yourself having tummy issues, have some bone broth first. I love fond bone broth, but you can make your own. You can order bones um, and make them in your Instapot, your slow cooker, or on your stove. I used to think bone broth was disgusting. And now I love it. Like I'm obsessed. I really, really love bone broth. And I can sip on it throughout the day. Um, I usually I just chug it. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I'm not sipping. I usually will have that as like a keto lunch when I'm feeding my little boy. One of my other words of encouragement was today, for example, I'm doing Omad. I'm doing a video on Omad. I'm talking about Omad. And I freaking had lunch today. I got really stressed out. Truth be told, my little boy was hollering up a storm. I love him. Being a mom is one of my best titles. It, being a mom and a wife way be before being a business owner. And he was hollering and it was not a good morning here in my household. And I had, I had, I, I had food, I ate lunch. And I encourage you from my experience, when I am stressed, I typically have two meals a day. I will, my intention is usually always to have one meal a day, a lot, one meal a day diet. Um, on periods of where I'm stressed and I just talked about eating my feelings, that's one of the examples of, at least I'm aware of it now, right? The next loving choices, I need to be conscious that I'm doing it. And then the part two of that, the next loving choice is the not acting on it. And so could there have been better things for me to process being really, really stressed with my little boy this morning? Yeah, absolutely. But also, I'm doing the best I can. Normally, I'd go talk to my hot husband and we'd have a conversation and a solution and it just wasn't the case, right? So I had a keto meal and um, tonight for dinner, I'm going to just have a smaller portion size um, and eating it. So I did want to share that, right? If people feel like they break their OMAD, it's okay, right? Like I'm still having positive results for me. I can still have weight loss, even if I'm not necessarily OMADing every single day. And my experience has been, I have to vary it up. I have to go from having OMAD to having two meals a day or to going a couple of days of not fasting at all. I do that for the mental mindset part of it, less of the physical component of it. So thank you, thank you uh, on Instagram. Hi guys, um, thank you for appreciating me, love that I'm keeping it real, but that's the truth is that I did earlier today and that wasn't super fun. And I know that later after I finish this YouTube live and Instagram live, I'm gonna go back and figure out some better strategies of how not to replicate that again, um, because I don't wanna interfere in my weight loss. I do best when I'm having one meal a day. Okay. Um, how do we are talked about macros? Where were the other questions? Let me go back to my papers. Someone talks about curbing this, um, keto question. Someone was like, how we talked about how long it took me to lose the weight. I would encourage you also put blinders on doing YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. I'm on TikTok. If you guys aren't there and Facebook, I found for me, and maybe you can't relate to this, but I would compare myself to a lot of people, other YouTubers, um, other Instagrammers, other people of, oh my gosh, homegirl lost a hundred pounds in a month. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I would start comparing myself and I would feel really down on myself. And so I would encourage you, if you're thinking about how long did it take you to lose the weight, it's going to take as long as it's going to take. Yeah, you accidentally, that's my sweet four-year-old. You accidentally made a mess. Can you go ask daddy, please? Mommy's talking to her friends. Can you shut the door, please? This is Royal Weight Loss Meeting Real Life. Now my door is open and the dogs are probably going to come in barking. Um, what was I talking about? We were talking about, I forgot what we were talking about. Do we have questions? I want to make sure we're answering everybody's questions today. Um, I'm talking a little bit about some, so more going back to Omad meals. One of the best ones that I am loving is making whole organic chickens. And I've talked before about beef. I love it. But I found in terms of cost, 
organic, having more like organic things. It's less expensive. I can literally do a whole organic chicken for $1.33 per serving size um, and get it's all organic and taste delicious. So that's one meal example that we, we've done a lot of. I'll mix it with the high fat of mayonnaise or butter on top of it. Um, I, I made, what it was it? It was a beautiful, and you'll see it in an upcoming YouTube meal prep video. Um, what was it? It was an uh, Italian bake. It was so good. On TikTok, I did a video on the recipe, but I have to do it on YouTube. Um, I've been doing keto for two and a half years. I'm a turtle for sure, coming off super slow. So some of the things that I go through to encourage people with is, do you have, when was the last time you had a blood test? And now is obviously not the most optimal time to go to your doctor to get a blood test, but checking to make sure your thyroid functions are good. All your functions are good. If all of those are good, then usually it's creepy carbs, some sort of ingredients, something like that. Number three could very well be um, track your macros. Track your macros. But how do you track macros? Can you guys hear that? I think this is why also like sometimes I just have to roll with it. The, the refrigerator is open and it's beeping and middle of a YouTube live and an Instagram live. Can you please shut the refrigerator? Cooper. Oh, okay. So my husband's coming over to get it and the door's open. So you guys can probably hear this whole conversation. Now you can hear what's going on in my household. Yippee! <laughs> was not intending that to be on this today's YouTube live. So I was talking about meal prep, talking about Omad, talking about different examples. I've totally lost my train of thought. Someone help me here. Put in the comments. What was I talking about? Where was I going? What questions do we have? Talking about being tired, keto, macros. Y'all, I'm so sorry. Creepy carbs are a real thing. I didn't know that until I got off diabetes medication. Yes. Hi, hi Danielle. Hi, sweetheart. Um, yes, 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 yes. Um, creepy carbs are a real thing. And people have asked, what are the creepy carbs? Malodextrin, malodextrose, canola oil, canola oil, soybean oil, vegetable oils. Let's put some of them in the comments so everybody can do them. Um, hi, thank you. Milo said blood test, macros. Okay, so I was talking about blood test, um, getting blood tests to make sure that everything's okay, right? Like it's not optimal right now to get a blood test because of going to the doctor's visits. But once this all resolves, I would encourage you check your blood. If you're having really slow weight loss, check your blood, make sure that it's not, not I have a really slow thyroid. It's a turtle slow. And so having routine blood checks and things like that have been super important for my weight loss journey of caring for my body. And that's the next loving choice. I've had everything checked. All things are perfect. And some people's bodies are just slow. You know what I mean? Like I just know I'm slower than other people. And that's when I start comparing myself to other YouTubers or Instagrammers or things like that on social media. It's a very dangerous trap. It's dangerous trap for me. Um, and then I encourage people then, you know, be slow. Recognizing it and knowing that's just where you are in the weight loss journey. That's where I am in the weight loss journey. Um, and that's okay. Um, surprise carbs. All these Applegate bacon, one carb due to sugar per slice. Yes, these sugars, right? It's so crazy. Um, the creepy carbs of where they pop up. The sugars is the other big one. Thank you for saying that over on Instagram. IG mom of five for now. Um, queen of my squirrels says olives and coconut are my go-tos on Instagram. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I love blue cheese. I'm really getting into blue cheese and olives. I know, sugar. And um, coconut, just whole coconut is so good. When I get to Whole Foods, I always get their fresh whole coconut. It's so good to me. But I have gotten on Amazon. Um, and if you want the link for it, let me know. But they have unsweetened coconut flakes. I think they come from like the Philippines, maybe Vietnam. I'm forgetting which country it comes from. Sorry. But it's whole coconut that has no sweetener added to it. That's really good. I will put that with my parfait with my solo granola, my um, homemade Greek yogurt. And I'll have that like as a keto lunch with some low carb berries. So if you're just joining us, Sola has been awesome sponsoring this video, I will have a 10% off discount code for you for the breads, um, hamburger buns, granolas. They have really good sugar too. It's um, keto sugar as well. And I would recommend that. I really only have 20 more pounds. It's tough at the end like this. Um, keto is now a lifestyle for me. I love when people say that keto is a lifestyle because it truly for me has been. That's been one of my secrets is making this a lifestyle to figure out how to make this sustainable, make it a lifestyle. Um, 
then go slowly, right? If I was trying to keep up with those other YouTubers or Instagrammers or whatever, uh, it's sabotage for me. And so I have to go slowly in order to make this sustainable and long term. Um, what other creepy carbs? Someone was asking about what on um, Instagram. What other creepy carbs are there? Do you want to put in the comments for people who um, know? For me, the biggest one was um, soybean oils. Realizing that this in so many mayonnaises and other like sauces and things like that, it's it's mind opening to me. When I started reading ingredients more, it really was mind changing for me. One thing I did want to share before I forget, actually a couple things. One, if you didn't get my free keto meal plan today, make sure you sign up on countessoflowcarb.com. I went out. I hadn't done one the past two weeks, but this morning I did. It's awesome. <laughs> if you got it, put in the comments how awesome it is. Um, so get your free keto diet meal plan. It gives you good keto recipes, examples. You may not eat everything on there, but it's somewhere to start with that. Um, but overdoing on nuts, someone just said, um, thank you, Mama Five, for now. Um, overdoing on nuts, right? Making sure we have our measurements and portion control. For me, a fourth a cup of nuts, I have to have those bagged. If I don't have my nuts bagged, I'm a nut bag. <laughs> I like big nuts and I cannot lie. I have to have the nuts bagged or I totally will eat the whole bag. Like literally I could, I love pecans are a great low carb one. Walnuts are a great low carb one. And I love macadamia nuts as another low carb one too. I make my own mayonnaise with avocado oil. Yay, Diane, that sounds delicious. Um, soybean oil is in everything. It's crazy. Yes, 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 yes. I found organic unsweetened coconut flakes at Walmart. Are pre preservatives considered creepy carbs? What's the name in the preservatives? Because some of, I don't know, fresh is best. Here's the other thing. Some people are not going to like this answer, but this, this is my truth. <laughs> Do the best we can. Do the best we can afford. Do the best we can. Obviously, fresh is best. Organic is best. Grass-fed is best. But do the best we can afford. Do I eat organic, grass-fed all the time? No. Is that my goal? Yes. Do the best we can afford. And the best we have available. Like right now, we're eating things. Someone I had put, where was it? It was on, I had talked about my canned chicken that I had gotten from Costco as one of my meals. And someone was like, I would never eat canned chicken. Great. But that was what we had available for our protein, right? Like we live here. We have a whole bunch of um, local farms here near us in rural Virginia. So I have access to beef, chicken, things like that. We're on a meat CSA, but um, like that supply is dwindling. So we're putting in other things. And, and, and I say that I'm to be true. If you feel like you only want organics, rock it out. If you feel like you can't do that, then rock that out too. But so going back to the preservatives, ideally not having preservatives is best. But for me, this is Royal Weight Loss Meeting Real Life and I do have preservatives. I would consider preservatives a creepy carb. I would read the label on it to see what it is. Um, let's see here. Hi, my um, Polish sister. Hi, sis. I'm so excited, Christina, to see you. I love seeing people's names pop up over the years that we've been on this weight loss journey together. And I have to say, I'm so incredibly grateful for the Countess of Low Carb community. You guys motivate me. Like, literally, I see people's names pop up and I'm like, yay! It's Danielle and Diana and Linda um, and it's Victoria and Martha and Christina. I get so stinking excited. I get so excited. So those are my big ones. Let's, we're going to do this again. I'm going to do another live on Friday because I have a surprise for you tomorrow. If you're on my email plan, um, my email newsletter, I have something exciting. I'm a part of, and it's with some really cool other keto people. It's a big community keto thing, but it's cool. Like it's not nerdly even though I love nerdly things. It's really, really cool. So check your email. And on Friday, I will be doing another YouTube live. We will be talking more about keto stuff, keto foods, and things like that. Um, nightshade vegetables. Brenda, I don't know what a nightshade vegetable is. I feel like a ding dong, but I don't know that. Why don't I know what a nightshade vegetable is? Can you put in the comments what that is? Because I don't know. And I feel like I should know, but I don't know. Um, hi there. Hi, guys. So we're we're going live on YouTube. We're going live on Instagram. I couldn't figure out how to go live on Facebook. I just couldn't kind of figure that out today. But um, we're going to do our live on Friday. So be here. Put questions. Put questions or email me at countessoflowcarb at gmail.com for more questions. We're going to do a whole bunch of keto chats uh, on Friday. 
morning ish, probably around like noon. That's not morning. Um, depending on when my little boy is okay. Nightshade vegetables, add water, weight, onions, peppers, tomatoes, or nightshades. I've learned something. Thank you, Brenda. I appreciate that. Peppers, tomatoes, eggplant. We are growing in our garden. Oh my gosh. I have a, um, if you want more garden information, also put that in the comments. I have a big garden. Uh, we've been growing a garden, which I've never done before. Um, and I'm doing them in pots on my deck and it's working out very well. So if you want information on gardening, let me know. Um, hi, Sunny Soul. Yes. Come back and catch it. We're kind of wrapping up here. I was just looking to see if there's any more questions. I, um, I will on Instagram, I'm going to be posting, figuring out how to post this as a post. So if you've missed the whole beginning part of it, it was my seven OMAD secrets for weight loss. Um, and talking a little bit about keto and any other questions y'all have to, um, thanks Lisa. If Lisa, if you're Lisa M, if you're still here, she said the, the meal plan is awesome. She has halibut on there. Yes. I threw in some fish because wild Alaska, um, I can give you, I have a discount code for them. I had fish shipped to me and it was as much as beef cost where I live. So I was in on the fish. We have a bunch of fish coming too. Um, I did a 24 hour fast yesterday. My hubby decided to join me. I'm proud, uh, so proud of me, but super proud of him. That is very cool when partners come in to start doing fasts. Um, when my husband doing, he does a lot and it's awesome because we'll, we'll, we'll talk shop about it, right? Isn't it the sunny soul? Isn't it encouraging for me? It's very motivating to talk shop and things like that. Did I mention how I started keto? Sure. And on Friday, um, the sinful burns, I will be going more over that in the other live today was more about Omad, but how I started keto one, figure out your macros, go to countessoflowcarb.com, get my free macros calculator to figure out your fat grams, your protein grams, and then it's 20 carbs or 20 net carbs. One, get your macros. Two, track your macros using Carb Manager Premium. I use the paid version, but there's free versions like my fitness pal. Um, I like Carb Manager Premium because it calculates net carbs and I like that. Three, start making your meals towards your portion sizes. So people are like, I don't know how much in the meal plan. Um, Lisa was just talking about my meal plan. I put in there halibut. How much halibut do I have? Well, that's contingent upon your macros um, for your body. So you start tracking it. I would encourage you, depending on your personality style, they know in self be true. If you love to track, track every freaking day. If you don't love to track, track for three weeks, and then you'll get a really good gauge of your portion sizes for keto because it's high fat, moderate protein, low carb. Um, Cindy from Virginia. Hi, Cindy. I'm in Virginia too. Rural, rural VA. I'm right over um, in your Loudoun County is where I am. I'm very curious as to where you are. Um, I'm so glad that you caught the live today too. Um, Let's see here. Um, Dr. Berg, Dr. Dr. Gundry videos. Yes. Mindy, is it Dr. Mindy Gundry? Is Mindy's Dr. Mindy's last name Gundry? Because I am loving Dr. Mindy. She, oof, oof, one of my coaching clients recommended so stinking good. Someone was asking about personal coaching right now. I'm capped out. You can get on the waiting list for it. Um, I do have other e-courses like how to start the keto diet. It's an e-course where you're self-led and I give you a whole bunch of videos, printables, things like that. How to start intermittent fasting. I have an e-course for that too. And I have an e-course, um, how to do keto meals under 45 minutes. It's with time to shrinks Erica. She's a YouTuber who's lost a ton of weight and she's an awesome cook. Her recipes, I have to say her recipes are better than mine. <laughs> She's a really, really good cook. So that will, I will also make sure is in the description link below too. Um, three to six ounces of protein, depending on your own macros word. But I also like to say that I don't necessarily have six ounces of protein. Sometimes I'll have more depending on the fasting time. I know some people would disagree with me on that, but um, if I'm breaking a 36 hour fast, I'll have some bone broth, a pause, wait 30 minutes or some raw vegetable, pause 30 minutes. And then I will have probably more than six ounces of protein. That's just where I am. It's working right now, right? And that's where I said going back to being in a calorie deficit or portion sizes. But the three to six ounces, I got more weight to lose probably than other people, right? On my 100 pound weight loss journey. So I think this is it. Love you, Chris. Love you guys on Instagram, YouTube. Put your questions below. Let's see how I figure out Instagram. There we go. And video and stream and yeah.